So you're in the market for a John Deere subcompact tractor. You go on John Deere's website and you see a bunch of numbers and a bunch of letters that don't make any real sense. Today, we're gonna to take a quick look at what those numbers mean, what those letters mean, to help you better understand while you're searching for your John Deere compact tractor. All right, so let's start off here. I'm next to a John Deere 1025R or 1025R. You'll see the numbers followed by a letter. And this goes for all the subcompact as well as the compact tractors up to a four series. The first number is gonna be your series number. So you have one series, two series, three series, and four series. As you gradually go up, the size and performance and capabilities of the tractors will increase. The next three letters, or numbers I should say, are the horsepower levels. So on this model right here, you'll see zero, two, five. So right about 25 horsepower, technically 24.2, but that would look kind of odd being there on a sticker. So round up, 25 horsepower. The ending letter, R, designates its spec level or features. In the one series, there are two different models. There's an E and an R. The E, consider that to be more of your entry level, economic, uh, still a very capable tractor, but it's not gonna have as many features as something like an R series. Uh, for example, on a 1023E versus a 1025R, uh, you will not have as nice of a seat you won't have things like the accessory work lights. It will be a little less horsepower as well. So E, consider that below the R, and the R, consider that your higher spec one. Let's take a look at some two series real quick. All right, so let's take a look at this one right here. This is gonna be a two series with 32 horsepower featured in an R trim level. So the two series is only available in a R trim level. So you're gonna be getting all the features that you possibly can on any two series that you look at, whether it be a 2025R, a 2032R, or a 2038R, which is gonna have 38 horsepower versus your 32 horsepower. Let's take a look at some three series. All right, so we're taking a look at some three series right now. Uh, three series, of course, as you can tell coming from the first one we did the one series to the two series to the three series you can tell uh, we're getting much larger in size um, this model right here if you look is a three series 25 horse but in an e trim level or spec level i should say over here on this one right here you're going to see this is a three series as well 39 horsepower but it's gonna be an R spec level. So as we're looking at the two differences side by side, and there is actually another video on this that you can watch if you really wanna really get into some of the detailed specifications of it, uh, is this model is technically going to be smaller. It's technically gonna have a bolt on loader where you can have a loader that comes on and off on this machine. Um, being the lower spec model, uh, you don't have cab options where on the r series you will have cab options so again e great capable model it's just more stripped down in order to meet cost whereas the r series is going to have all the features uh, that you can possibly get with this type of tractor let's take a quick look at a four series all right so let's wrap up here with the four series uh, again uh, just like all the other ones, one, two, three, this would be the largest four series. The next three numbers, horsepower level, so 66 horsepower. Uh, whether you're looking at a 052, that would be a 52 horsepower, or another model they make a 044, that would be a 44 horse. Um, spec level, that letter there at the end, uh, this one is an M. So 
you haven't seen this one yet in the video, so what would be like an M series or an M spec level? An M spec level is more or less your mid-range one. So uh, it's not top tier, it's not a lower one, um, it's what you would consider mid. And the reason they do that on the 4 series with an M series as well as an R series is because these share very common specifications. Um, just the R series gives you the ability to have things like a factory installed cab with heating and air conditioning, uh, as well as uh, easier, um, or I should say factory installed hydraulics that the M series would not have that you would have to add on in order to um, make it work like you would an R series. All right, so we took a look there at some of the subcompact as well as the compact tractors. I really hope in this video will kind of help you in your search uh, when you're looking at those numbers and those letters, kind of wondering what each of those mean, uh, whether you're looking at something from a two series all the way to a three E series or even a three R series and on up. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We're gonna be putting out more videos here at Deer Country Farm and Lawn. Thank <laughs> you.